What's up with you? For today's video, we're in full Volcarana forms and evolution team. I'll be using Volcarana, La Vesta, Iron Moth, and Slitherwing. I'll have a team of four Pokemon using this family, and I think these are pretty cool. Maybe in the future we could do like a Don Fan one. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below in the comment section. I always love to hear everybody's feedback. And if you want to support the channel, make sure you drop a like there. I've got four battles for you today. I'm trying to spoil you. So first opponent here, I'm not really sure of the trainer names here. Maybe someone can uh, translate. There's a couple of people that always translate. Um, you're the real MVPs out there. But I I do know one thing, the opponent's got a big old hippo on the other side of the field. Now, here, Powder is a quite a good counter for this team here. I'm leading things off with my La Vesa. So I've got U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, and Trailblaze. Its physical attack is actually a lot better than the special. Then when it evolves, the change is quite interesting. So I've got the, the Flame Body and item is going to be Choice Band. Max Health and Max Attack EVs out of a nature. Now, in yesterday's video, I actually asked everyone how to uh, actually refer to the new mechanic of the game, uh, the Tetralize, right? So this is Electric Tetralize, by the way. I'm going to refer it to in the following format. Uh, these are the highest voted ones and we'll actually sort of get it down from there so we've got terrified terror try hard terror it's terror time timmy terror which was mine and of course someone put testicle terror no troll vote for that one but let me know what you think i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go with try hard terror or timmy terror i can't really decide so anyway uh why you are uh, leave a comment there letting me know which one uh, you think is gonna be best there we got this hip out i'm going for an earthquake taking out la Vesa. i really didn't want to swap up in that matchup and the good thing about it is i have put how power on on a low amount of health it tends to run slack off and off which can be quite annoying. So now I'm going to go into Volcrime. This is a very, very decent set. We've got Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, Giga Drain, and Bug Buzz. we got the um, uh, Terra as Grass. So I'm going to turn myself into a Grass type there. And it's definitely a special sweeper. we got the item as Heavy Duty Boots, Max uh, Special Attack, and Max Speed. Now I had to have a couple of good Pokemon on this team. Obviously, I'm only using four Pokemon. And it has so many weaknesses. So I'm going to hit there by the Sandstorm. And that is the end of the Hippo, which is excellent. Now the next Pokemon to come out here, is going to be Goldingo. So uh, Goldingo is, uh, it's got the sand up. I'll give him that, but you know what? That Fiery Dance is just going to be way too powerful anyway, and it's going to end them in one shot there. I guess they were hoping to outspeed me, you know? So the Sandstorm is going to subside, which is good. And uh, the next Pokemon that's going to come in here is going to be Dragonite. So like, wow, Dragonite is actually quite a good counter to this team. So I'm going to go for Bug Buzz here and try and break the multi scale. It's the best effort I can really do here. And, you know, it does pretty good damage. I get a lucky crit, which is great. Now Dragonite is going to blow me away with Hurricane. It's a special Dragonite. Nice. Now Volcarona just leaves that one. However, I'm going to get some chickens floating around my head. I, you know, I hate it I, when I have chickens floating around my head. I go outside, you know, a truck flies by, and then there's chicken floating around my head. Happens all the time. So anyway, Dragonite's going to hit by another Bug Buzz there. Almost takes out, and it's going to be a mix set. It's an outraging hurricane -ing. Uh, Dragon Knight, pretty cool. That's going to be the end of the Volcarana there. I was hoping actually to get a Flame Body, but it never activated. It would have been very nice. Next Pokemon here, I'm going to slither in to slither wing. Oh, that's so perfect. Anyway, so this Pokemon, I'm going to say this right now. This Pokemon is an amazing Pokemon. It's so strong. So I've got this physical set here. And I found this moveset worked the best. I've got Close Combat, First Impression, Leech Life, and Earthquake. And I've got Terra Ground for it, which worked a treat in a lot of occasions here. So Dragonite is going to get Leech there, a little bit of suck. And that's going to get some help back for my Slither Wing, which is a very, very powerful Pokemon. I've got the uh, EV spread uh, as follows. I've got Jolly Nature. I found Jolly Nature allow me to outspeed a lot of different Pokemon. And of course, Max Attack boosts the energy as the item to, uh, you know, obviously power up its ability. Next Pokemon is going to be Salamence. Oh, man, I, I forgot what theme. See, we're doing this theme team about lookalike Pokemon, you know? So anyway, uh, we got these options of going for close combat, or I could go for the Terra. I decided to go for the Terra here. I was a little bit scared that they might have a super effective move against me, you know, being a bug and fighting type Pokemon. You know, they might have a flying type, which will absolutely dominate me, you know, obviously being four times weak to that. So anyway, uh, we're going to go for the, you know, it, it, that wasn't a little Timmy Terra. It wasn't a tryhard Terra. So that's the thing I'm thinking about. I know there's definitely room to have tryhard and Timmy Terra, but not in those sorts of situations. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't quite thought of the word for those situations. So Roaring Moon is 
just got out of a focus sash, and now it's gonna go for a flamethrower on my Slitherwing. The good thing about tearing into a ground type, it wasn't gonna be super effective, so I got rid of that bug type completely, which is awesome. And that's gonna allow me to get rid of the Salamence and give me a 2-4 lead here, considering I started with only four Pokemon. Next Pokemon here is gonna be Breloom. Now, Breloom has been an absolute plague on the uh, Wi-Fi today. It's just been every second battle it's had Spore, I've had uh, Subtreat Lead Seed, Focus Punch Set, uh, Focus Sash Set. Like, these have been absolutely everywhere. Anyway, so we've got a double Focus Sash Pokemon here, and now they're going to put my Slitherwing to sleep, which is a little bit of a pain. Now, I really want to go into my Iron Moth here, because it's actually quite a good uh, typing, but I don't want my opponent to actually go for Spore again, because it's not really a speedy set. So now they're going to go for a Bullet Seed, and that is the end of my Slitherwing. I, I could have swapped it out, but then again, they could have put my next Pokemon to sleep. So I thought I still had a chance with this last Pokemon. So that obviously is a Technician Brel in there. So my last Pokemon is going to be Iron Moth. Now, this is a bulky set. I have run this one before. So we've got Morning Scum, Fire Spin, Protect, and Air Slash. I've got Booster Energy as the item. Max Health and Max Defense, Bold Nature. So it's a very, very tanky set. And this has got the Terra... Uh, flying as well. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So anyway, uh, we're going to obviously get around that and go for an air sash and finish off the Brelim. Brelim had nothing to hit me with there. You know, like a little like weak Mac punch. So now there's one more Pokemon left and it is going to be the Mimiku. Of course, Mimiku is in every single battle as well. So Mimiku's going to go for a Shadow Snake there. That's not good enough. I'm really, really bulky. I'm going to be able to live that one very, very well. So a nice little surprise factor there. So hitting the Mimiku with a, uh, a nice little Fire Spin, that's going to do some good damage at the end of the turn and it's also going to get rid of the disguise so what i'm thinking here they're either going to go for a sword dance i mean what are they going to do go for play rough against a poison type or they're going to go for a, uh, another shadow snake just like that so this turn i went for the morning sun i was like okay i'll go for morning sun and then i'll start going for air slash and then i should be able to get around this mimiku they're going to need another sword dance and then they rage quit that's it as soon as i press the morning sun button the switch went straight out the window. That is a nice salty rage quit there, people. Let's get on to the second battle. If you're hyped for the theme change and you're loving the video so far, don't forget to drop a like and uh, let's get into it. So first Pokemon here is going to be the Klefki. So Klefki, I've seen a, a little bit around as well. Once again, um, if anyone wants to translate the trainer's names, be my guest. So first Pokemon uh, here is going to be Klefki using the light screen. So light screen is going to make my special Pokemon have a little bit of a hard time there. Now, you're probably thinking, why didn't you not go for the Flare Blitz there? So what I was thinking is to go for the U-turn, and then I had a plan to use my La Vesta later on. Now, La Vesta is actually quite a good counter. I actually found a very nice counter to Charizards, because I went Terra Electric. I'd live the Hurricane and Air Slash. One shot of them. You know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then Gyarados as well. So Gyarados is swapping. Oh, I'll just go for a Dragon Dance here. Boom, Terra Wild Charge. Goodbye. Goodbye, July. But that's pretty much uh, my best counter for some of those uh, you know, really big threats against this team. So we've got the Clefke swapping out here, and we've got the Gyarados coming in. So this is what I was low-key saving my La Vesta for. So this Gyarados could be a bit of a problem here. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I think I might go for a Terra, a Terra Giga Drain here and attack that Gyarados. Sure, it's not going to faint it. You know, there's a light screen up on the field, but it'll actually allow me to lift that, you know, obviously incoming waterfall. Now, they may go for a Dragon Ants here, but I have the feeling they're just going to go for waterfall because that's going to do a lot of damage to Volcarana and, you know, definitely probably even have the chance to one-shot him. So go for that uh, Terra Volcarana there. I've got a big old flower on my head there, and this is going to probably, I was estimating maybe a, a quarter damage to the Gyarados, right? So it does a, a little bit over a quarter, so that was kind of nice there, and now Gyarados is going to go for the predictable waterfall. So that was excellent. You know, I definitely would have fainted that. Now Gyarados has to swap out there. I will note too, I was a little bit scared of Gyarados having a flying Terra, but obviously they didn't. So when comes the, uh, the Klefki again, I'm guessing they're going to try and set up another screen and I got some more Giga Drain uh, health recovery. So that was good. I can easily take this Klefki out on the last turn. Now before the Klefki is going to faint, it's going to set up Reflex. I'm like, okay, that's going to be a pain too. So I want to try and get as much damage as I can came with his Volcarana, and you know, the light screen is now on borrow time, unless they've got like a full eight turns, which I wasn't really sure, you know, at this point in the game. So that's the end of the Clefki, no more screens for them uh, to hide behind. Now, the next Pokemon to come in is going to be the Fluttermane. Now, this Pokemon is insanely overpowered, like really nice speed, really nice special attack, great typing, 
Uh, yeah, I was I was like, I don't know if I can get around it. So it outsped me to start with, thanks to the booster energy. And now they're going to boost up their special attack and special defense. This turn, I actually went for the uh, fiery dance to boost up my special attack a bit. So I was like, okay, I think they're going to attack this turn. Like, I did this. This could this could well and truly be over. So I was like, okay, what I'm going to do this turn, I'm going to go for quiver dance. I do have one quiver dance up. I got before, so that's going to allow me to have you know a little bit of bulk here. So the Flutter main is going to be a, a Terra Fairy here. That was that was definitely a little Timmy Terra there. And now they're going to send me to the moon with Moon Blast. So here it comes in all its power. And Volcaran at least on 10 health. That was an excellent live. So the great thing about that now, I've got the Quiver Dance up. And on top of that, I was counting the turns. The light screen actually ends too. So I'm like, wow, this is great. Now with the Quiver Dance up, I can go for a Fiery Dance. And that is most definitely going to take out the Flutter main setting my Volcaran up even further, which is great. So if I didn't take that out, then I would have lost easy. That Pokemon is like just way, way too powerful. Very, very powerful Pokemon. Now, the, uh, the next Pokemon to come in, not the last one, is going to be the Gyarados from before. Now, this Gyarados, I know that it's got well, any attacking move will fake me, but there's no screen up anymore. So after that, they just quit, hit the cancel button, and that was a sweep right there. I could have gone for Giga Drain and simply beaten the rest of their team. But there you go. There's the Volcarana sweep. They worked out beautifully. Let's get on to the third battle here. Uh, not, once again, we, I have a lot of um, I had a lot of uh, Jap uh, Japanese players that I was versing today. So the first Pokemon I'm going to send out is going to be La Vesa, and we've got Tinkaton as lead. So I just went for the. Uh, I was thinking about going for either U-turn or Flare Blitz against this, and we've got the Skeledurge coming in. So I decided to go for the Flare Blitz. There, I thought I could get you know an early KO on the Tinkaton. Now we'll say one thing about La Vesa. A lot of people don't really know how to handle it. They swap out against it, and they, you know, like, they always seem to think it's going to do nothing, try and set up against it, and a lot of time they get wrecked. So now we've got the Skeledurge going for the Earth Power. Now, Earth Power, uh, that's not going to be healthy if I swap in my Iron Moth, and I really don't want to swap in my Volcarina either because there's actually not a lot I can do to this. So I was actually happy here just to sack off the La Vesa and probably swap in another Pokemon. I would have loved to. If I, w I really wish I would have gone for U-Turn there, but, you know, that's the way things are. So La Vesa is going to fake there. It has damaged the Skeledurge a little bit. This is definitely a, a bulky set, um, judging on the damage I'm doing to it, and it's got the leftovers as well. So it's got a little bit over uh, half the health there. So I'm thinking to myself, what can I bring in? It's like, let's go into Slitherwing. I, I do have a good plan here. I do have Earthquake, and, I, you know, I could even tear a ground this as well. So uh, I've got the booster energy there that's going to boost up its attack and it's got a very nice attack stat after that and it's got it's got great coverage for me those are like really really good shiny as well i have to say but uh also another question of the day here people what shiny is your favorite out of all these pokemon if you have to pick from volcarona iron moth slitherwing or lavesa what like let me let me know um, I, I think they're all pretty cool i have to say probably slitherwing is probably my favorite out then so here comes another gold dengo gold dengo is uh yeah that's gonna get uh running out of gold right there it's gonna drop it you know what i reckon it should do it should drop its little chest and coins should fall everywhere game freak hire me next pokemon is going to be mimiku i've never seen this pokemon in my life and we're going to be breaking the disguise so now the mimiku is like well they're probably going to set sword dance up they went for psyche he's like okay that's a, that's pretty cool a special mimiku so props to my opponent for that and they've got the uh, leftovers as well. So I, I noticed my opponent had a, a little bit of a different sort of EVs uh, spread to their Pokemon and some different moves. So this turn, I went for the Terra. I wasn't like thinking um, I want to be living another or taking another Psychic. So I'm going to go for the Terra uh, Ground and take out this Mimiku, you know, because I don't really have a lot to hit it with. But, and I don't really know if it's got any other ways to uh, boost its special uh, special attack. I, I guess outside of Charge Beam. But that Charge Beam, you know, a Ground type. So I thought I might be able to get around that. So Mimiku is got a faint which is good it's always good to get rid of that so now we got uh we got two more pokemon left and we're gonna charizard i'm like okay this is where i wish i had my la Vesta. this is like the charizard uh you know charizard killer so i can't do a lot i went for the leech life and you know that that's about the you know extent of damage i could do so i got a little bit of health back here the charizard actually went uh for a solar beam here it's like okay solar beam does it have a power herb, or are they just going to wait like two turns? So it size out uh, the Charizard didn't have 
a power herb. So it's like, okay, I'll go into Iron Moth then. You know, that's that's a good swap in. Um, I should be able to do some damage to Charizard. Now, the cool thing about this Iron Moth, I can, you know, block them in with uh, the Fire Spin and then try and uh, air, uh, air Slash Flinch, if I can outspeed, that is. So Charizard's going to go for the Solar Beam, and it does uh, absolutely nothing. It did, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 damage there. So I'm going to go for the Fire Spin here. Fire Spin misses, which is a bit of a pain. And now the Charizard is going to go for a Dragon Pulse here. Now, since I'm a... Uh, a fire and a poison. Charizard really can't do that much damage to me. I mean, a flying type move, that's about it. But this is very bulky, you know. I've, uh, I've built this very bulky. So the Charizard's going to continue to go for the Dragon Pulse here. I, I guess it's trying to wear me down. I'm trying to wear Charizard down there with a, uh, a Protect and Fire Spin combination here. So going for Protection there. Good to use Protection. I really like, I have to say, I really like Iron Moss Wings, how they sort of just float there. I guess they just float there. Looks like a magnetism or something like that. Um, looks really, really cool. I like that but yeah what's your favorite pokemon out of these still i know i asked for that shiny before but what one of these do you like the best so go for the air slash on the charizard i almost took it out there but fire spin is indeed going to be able to do the job and finish it off so there's tinkerton left which shouldn't be too much of a problem depending of course what i've got left but then this pokemon came out and it is going to be talent of flame i was like oh no this is bad like when you look at my team there's like Three of them a week to this, you know, and it's it's not good. So that's the end of my Iron Moth, and I've got two left. I've got my Slither Wing, and I've got my Volcarana. So I was like, okay, I need to do something desperate here. I have to go for Fiery Dance to get as much damage off as I can, and then I'll, I'll let them go for Brave Bird, and that, you know, that'll use some of the health there. Um, so now the uh, Brave Bird is going to be coming from Talonflame. Obviously, this is going to fight me in one shot. But, you know, I got that quality recoil damage there, which is exactly what I needed to put it in about the correct range for my Slitherwing to happen. So I know that Talonflame might have Roost, but maybe you'll just go for attacking me. I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and go for first impression. Oh, I, I, I really can't do much. I don't think I'll be able to outspeed it. So I went for the Leech Slide. I changed my mind and... It didn't do enough damage there. Even even my first impression wouldn't have actually uh, you know fainted that. So Leech Life is not going to KO, and the Talonflame is going to go for Flare Blitz. I, I ate that like a snack, real talk. And the Talonflame is going to faint thanks to the recoil. So I guess I would have always won that matchup, which is really nice due to the ground-type terror. Last Pokemon is going to be the Tingatong. You know that a, a Gigantamax Hammer is coming my way. Oh, sorry, a Gigaton Hammer. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting caught up from Sword and Shield. And it's going to be Terra Steel as well. Wait, it's got a... Wait, that's that's hacking. It's got an axe and a hammer. Only I'll put it on shell. So anyway, the Gigaton Hammer is most definitely coming my way. I'm going to go for the Terra Earthquake here. And this is going to do some big damage. Taking out the Tingatong in one shot. So that's awesome. So a nice dub there at the end. Thank you to my opponent for the bell there. And they used a special... Mimico, you, you got to give him a little bit of credit for that. All right, people, let's get on to the fourth and final battle for today's video. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that was, that's a little Pokemon Go Pokemon. I have to get that sometime. I won't do that theme team of like um, Gold Dingo until, until I can get that into the game. Next Pokemon uh, battle here, we got another Japanese opponent and we got a Azumarill lead. So I was like, okay, it's time. Let's get it. So we got the uh, Tetra Wild Charge here. I doubt they'd ex even expect this one to, you know, even happen. So go for that uh, Wild Charge. In the end, I decided not to go for the Tetra. I thought it might be enough to take Azumarill out, but it wasn't. It was like a bulky, rocky helmet set. And it also had Hydro Pump. Now, I want to say one thing too. I've seen a lot of Azumarills today. I I'm, not, I'm not talking about one or two. I talk about like 10 plus that had Hydro Pump. Like people are running like these special Azumarils. I mean, I'm not sure if they've been watching a few Pip Night videos, but uh, they, they were seriously like a lot. And they were like, they were com definitely competitive teams as well. It's quite interesting. Anyway, so in comes Garchomp. Now, Garchomp is a, uh, a sound counter for my team. I really struggle against this Pokemon. Slitherwing is probably one of the best uh, Pokemon to deal with this. So swapping that in, getting that plus one in attack. Now, Garchomp is going to definitely be going for his little Stealth Rock here. That's why it's imperative to run heavy duty boots on Volcarana, you know? I mean, I kind of wanted to run it on Love Vesta too, but then I lose the choice band. And yeah, it, it kind of doesn't hit very hard there. So, what I'm going to do here, I've got close combat and I've got first and press. Like, oh, look, I could go for close combat, but then I'm going to get a drop in our defenses. Maybe I should go for the Tetra Earthquake again. You know, Garchom, you know, they probably won't be expecting that, you know? So, going for the Tetra Earthquake here, the Garchomp's going to be swapping out. And the next Pokemon to come into the matchup is going to be Dragapult. Now, watch this. Like, 
you wouldn't read about what happened in this battle. So go for the text there into the ground type. Now, Dragapult, I'm not really sure if it's a physical or a special set, but, uh, you know, it's a very, very fast Pokemon. It can be very difficult to deal with. You sort of have to see, you know, what the set is before. I'm hoping it doesn't have, like, a good coverage move against the whole team. So go for that Earthquake. I was actually happy they swapped this in. I was like, this should do some good damage. And it lived on one health there without a Focus Ash. But get this right. I swapped out. I slithered out with Slither, and I went into Larvesa. I tried to get a Flame Body here. I thought that would be pretty funny if I get, like, a Flame Body KO, because I knew it was pretty much done anyway with the Stealth Tox. Dragapult's popped the U-turn, right? I was like, oh, I didn't get the Flame Body. That really, really sucks. But watch this, right? The Dragapult had a Life Orb, and it took, it, it took itself out. I was like, wow, that was awesome. So that's the end of the Dragon Bolt there. Absolute perfection. Gold medal performance there by Larvesa. And the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Orthworm. So I was like, okay, well, Orthworm, I'll give it a little bit of the old one-two uh, fire spin. You know, that'll be, uh, that should be a two-hit KO. So I'm going to take a little bit of Stealth Rock damage there. Now, Orthworm is quite a slow Pokemon. I wasn't sure if they were going to try and get a, a Shed Shell up either. It's like, mm, maybe I should just go for Fire Spin. That could be, you know, very handy against them. They might be able to pass off a sub. Like, I was worried about that sub getting past, like, you know, Guard Chop or something. So Fire Speed does land, which is good. It does have a bit of Shaky, actually. And uh, now Orthworm is going to go for a Bulldoze. That was a good attacking move there. It is four times super effective. But obviously, judging on the damage they did to me, you can see how bulky I am. I max health, max defense. So... Most of the time, that would have taken out Nine Moth. I bet they were very confused there why I lived. So anyway, I'm going to go for a Protect here. I thought I could, uh, you know, get a little bit of extra damage off on Orthwop. I was a little bit concerned that I might miss with Fire Spin. So if I put it on, like, you know, one health, then I can easy swap another Pokemon in and take it out. So go for the Air Slash, a little bit more reliable accuracy and a little bit of salt there. And Orthwop is going to faint. So things are looking very nice. So we've got Azumarill and Garchomp left and another Breloom. Like, all right, fair enough. Um, I've got Air Slash here. I've also got Fire Spin. Uh, any of these moves are going to be pretty good. I mean, Air Slash has got, like, um, like a chance to flee. So I went for the Fire Spin, and you wouldn't believe it. The Breloom lived on one health without a Focus Slash. Like, you wouldn't read about it. So two in a row, like... I don't know, I don't, there's, there's some sort of curse here. The merch is available, people. You can check it out below the video. So now the uh, the Breloom gets off scot-free because uh, my Pokemon actually uh, fainted before the fire spin uh, secondary effects could even uh, happen. So now we've got Volcarana left. All right, let's just get rid of this thing right now. Let's spin around, baby, and go for that fiery dance there and roast up this uh, roast mushrooms. You know, I, I quite like a roast mushroom for breakfast. You know, you get some eggs, you get some smoked salmon, and some nice roasted mushrooms. A little bit of herbs on there, a little bit of butter. Wow, very nice. Next Pokemon is going to be... Oh my goodness, I, I almost forgot the uh, the Pokemon's name, Annihilate. I almost said Primate then, but let's have a little... It sort of woke up on... It hasn't had a lot, a lot of sleep, and it sort of woke up on the wrong side of the bed, you know? So it's going to go for a Rage Fist there. Uh, I lift that one pretty nicely and finish it off with a nice big suck, which is good there. Uh, this Volcarana is it's definitely a good set there. It helped me out in a lot of battles, but I really had to have this sort of, uh, you know, this build on this team. Now, the last Pokemon, last couple of Pokemon, I got to be Garchomp and Azumarill. I was like, well... This, this, that's bait. That has to be Sap Super. So I went for the, uh, just an attacking move there, my bug bars, and that's the end. That, that would have been bait for sure. I can guarantee it. Last Pokemon is going to be the Garchomp. It is at a thumping full health, and it's popped a dig. I'm like, a dig Garchomp. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to live this. So, uh, Volcarona can't hit anything. I hit the trainer with the bug bus. They had a few bugs flying around them, and the dig is going to land here, and I lived on 69 health, and my bug bus is going to be enough to take out the Garchomp. And that, my friends, is the end of the fourth and final battle. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this. I'll be back a little bit later on with a Pokemon sweep, I think. Peace out, people.